What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video today. I am doing the starting lineup for the 2022 Indianapolis 500, the 106 running of the Indianapolis 500. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Starting on the poll for the 2022 Indianapolis 500, we have six-time IndyCar champion and winner of the 2008 Indianapolis 500, Scott Dixon. Starting in second position in this year's Indianapolis 500, we have defending IndyCar Series champion for 2021, Alex Plo in the 10 for Chip Ganassi Racing. Starting third position, we have the winner of the 2021 Indy Road Course Race and driving 21 for Ed Carpenter Racing, we have Renus VK. Starting in fourth position, we have the hometown favorite and a favorite for many, many people, the driver of the 33 for Ed Carpenter Racing, Ed Carpenter. Starting in fifth position, we have the winner of two or three road court IndyCar, IndyCar races and the driver of the A4 Chip Ganassi Racing, Marcus Erickson, who's an underdog twin. Starting sixth position, we have 2004 IndyCar Series champion and 2013 Indianapolis 500 winner, Tony Kanaan, who drives a one for Chip Ganassi Racing. Starting seventh position, we have the winner of multiple IndyCar Series races and winner earlier this year at Barber Motorsports Park, Pat Award driving a five for Aaron McLaren SP. Starting eighth position, we have his teammate who's driving the seven car, who is looking for, I believe, his second IndyCar victory, Felix Rosenquist, who drives seven for Aaron McLaren SP. Starting ninth position, we have one of the my favorites to potentially get a victory here in this year's Indy 500. The driver came over Formula One last year to run part time and now full time, Ramon Grosjean driving a 28 car for Andretti Autosport. Starting 10th position, we have two-time Indianapolis 500 winner, 2017 and 2020 winner, and driving the 51 car for Dale Coyne Racing and Rick Ware Racing, Takuma Sato, who's looking to get Rick Ware Racing their first ever major, major victory. Starting 11th position, we have 2018 Indy 500 winner and 2014 IndyCar Series champion, Will Power drives a 12 for Team Penske. Starting in 12th position, we have seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, winner of multiple races at the Brickyard, winner of multiple Daytona 500 and a driver is trying to become the first driver to win the Brickyard 400, the Daytona 500, and also the Indianapolis 500, Jimmy Johnson, who drives the 48 Ford Chip Ganassi Racing. Starting in 13th position, we have one of the biggest rookie contenders who could win the Indy 500, Dave Malukas, who will be driving the 18 for Dale Coyne Racing with HMD Autosport. Starting 14th, we have two-time IndyCar Series champion, 2017 and 2019 champion, Justin Newgarden drives a 2-4, Dean Penske. Starting in 15th position, we have a driver who is really, really impressive and still looking for his first IndyCar victory, has never failed to finish outside the top 10, Santino Frucci driving to 23 for Dreyer Ryan Bold Racing. Starting 16th position, we have the winner of the 2019 Indianapolis 500 and 2016 IndyCar Series champion, Simon Pagano driving to 60 for Meyer Shank. Starting 17th position, we have the driver who ran into the outside wall and nearly won the, the Indianapolis 500 in 2011, has come close multiple times in the past to win the Indy 500, but is still looking for his first Indy 500 win, I believe also his first or second IndyCar victory as well, Jerry Holdebrand driving the 11 for AJ Foyt Racing. Starting in 18th position, we have a driver who is very underrated at tra tracks like this, Connor Daly, who drives the 24 at Carpenter Racing. Starting in 19th position, we have one of the hot shot rookies who came from Formula 2, Cal Amala, driving the 77 car for Hukos Hollinger Racing. Starting in 20th position, we have the driver who won the 2016 Indianapolis 500 in really shocking fashion, and a driver that always seems to be really pressing the Indianapolis 500, Alexander Rossi driving to 27 for Andretti Autosport, and most likely the last time he will drive for Andretti Autosport in IndyCar in the Indy 500. Starting in 21st position, we have the son of the legend, Bobby Rahal, who, but this guy is still looking for his first Indianapolis 500 victory, Graham Rahal driving to 15 for Rahal Letterman Lanigan Racing. Starting in 22nd position, we have a driver who has a points been really impressive on the intermediate tracks, and a driver who's been also racing in NASCAR very recently, Sage Karam driving the 24 car for Dry Ryan Bull Racing. Starting in 23rd position, we have a driver who nearly won the 2006 Indianapolis 500, but got beat by Sam Hornish Jr. on the last corner of the race, Mark Andretti driving the number 98 car, fourth Andretti Racing, I believe, Kerp Abagine. Starting in 24th position, we have another rookie, rookie that came from Indy Lights last year, 
Devlin D. Francesco driving a 29 for Andretti Autosport. Starting 25th position, we have the driver who won the most recent race in IndyCar, the Indy Road Course race, and is also looking for his first Indianapolis 500 victory. Colin Hurd, who will be have to drive his way up to the front in the GameBridge Honda for Andretti Autosport. Starting in 26th position, we have a driver who is a favorite to potentially win the Indianapolis 500 and winner earlier this year at St. Pete, Scott McLaughlin driving a three-car for Team Penske. Starting in 27th position, we have the drive. We have one of the four-time, four-time Indianapolis 500 winners and looking to become the first driver to win five Indianapolis 500s. And a driver, of course, is potential favorite to win who look really good in traffic. Julio Castroneves in the 06 for Meyer Shank Racing. Starting 28th position, we have one of the hot shot rookies who's been really successful in the lower ladder race. Is still looking for his first career IndyCar victory. Kyle Kirkwood in the 14 for AJ Foyt Racing. Starting 29th position, we have Kyle Kirkwood's teammate and a driver who's going to be starting near the back of crash earlier this week in, in, on Monday practice. Don Kell in the 4 for AJ Foyt Racing. Starting in 30th position, we have two-time Indianapolis 500 winner, 2000 and 2015. And the driver is looking to win his first IndyCar race, I believe, since 2015 or 2016. Juan Pablo Montoya in the 6th of Aaron McLaren SP. Starting in 31st position, we have another rookie who's still looking for his first career IndyCar Series victory, coming from the F2 ranks, Christian Lungard in the 30 for Ray Hall, Lennerman, Lanigan. Starting in 32nd position, we have another Ray Hall Lennerman Lanigan driver, who I believe is still also as well looking for his first career IndyCar Series victory, Jack Harvey in the 45 for Ray Hall Lennerman Lanigan. And starting in the final position in this year's Indianapolis 500, we have a driver who came out of nowhere, a driver who's come at points close to win the Indy 500, who almost won the race in 2018, but Phil Mosh took him out of contention. We have Stefan Wilson with the Cusack Motorsports car with help from AJ Foyne Racing and other organizations to help get this team off the ground running. So that's the starting lineup for the Indy 500. So here are the drivers that I'm keeping my eyes out on for this year's Indianapolis 500. Scott Dixon. Scott Dixon has had a curse around him, but I think he's going to be genuinely one of the fastest cars in this year's Indy 500. Had issues that took him out last year. I think he'll be a threat to win. Alex Plow in second position. He's going to be a threat to win the Indy 500 this year. He looked really, really confident. One of the few drivers that have been really looking good in traffic. I think he will be a threat to win this year's Indianapolis 500 as well. Renus VK. Renus VK is a driver I think a lot of people really watching this year because Renus VK has looked good in traffic and was one of the fastest cars in qualifying this past weekend. I think he'll be an absolute threat to get it done. Tony Kanaan starting in sixth position is another driver I want you all to keep your eyes on. Tony Kanaan has already been really good. He's won the 2013 Indy 500, but also when it comes to Indy, he generally runs really well. I think he'll be a threat. Paddle Ward starting in seventh position. Paddle Ward has looked pretty confident this past couple weeks. His cars look really, really soft. He's going to be a threat, in my opinion, to win the Indianapolis 500. Takuma Sato, who's starting in 10th. Takuma Sato is, I believe, was almost my pick to win the Indianapolis 500 this year. He has been one of the fastest cars pretty much through testing, pretty much through the practice sessions. He's going to be a threat to win. Jimmy Johnson starting in 12th. I know a lot of people are shocked that I'm talking about Jimmy Johnson here. But Jimmy Johnson has looked super, super confident through this. Has been one of the fastest cars in every single practice session. His race craft looks really, really solid and really good. I think he's going to be a threat to win the Indy 500 this year. Simon Pagino, who's starting in 16th position, is a driver who's my pick to win the Indy 500. He had a fast car last year at the end of the race, in fact, running down Julio Castroneves, who now is his teammate. I think Simon Pagino will absolutely be a threat to win the Indy 500 this year. Next up, the guy I want to talk about is Alexander Rossi. Now, Alexander Rossi's been really quiet so far through the weeks, but you never know what you really don't can't put him take out about as a potential threat to win. Colin Hurd is starting 25th. Colin's had a little bit of a rough qualifying session, but I think he'll get up front and be a major, major contender. Final drive, two, final two drivers, Scott McLaughlin driving to three. I think Scott McLaughlin absolutely will be a threat to win the 8500 this year. And Julio Castroneves has starting pretty far back, and he's going to have to survive the, the crashes that potentially could happen in this year's Indy 500. If he can drive through the field, I think he's going to be a threat to win the Indy 500 this year. So, anyway, that is the official 2022 Indianapolis 500 starting lineup. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, Turkey Sean, to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and for me on pages all list schedule below over that, and comment your picks below for the 2022 Indianapolis 500. Tell me if you think he's going to win the Indy 500. Let me know in the comments below. 
Tomorrow on the channel, more than likely, we're going to probably have a NASCAR news video or a motorsports video catching up on some of the news from the last couple of days. And we're also, tomorrow night as well, going to have the Truck Series race review as well. Also, I will be in pretty much sooner to here, be able to give you that major announcement that I'm going to be having here in the near future. I'm going to be on someone else's channel, so keep your notification tabs on for that when that video does go out. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time for some of your awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content, like IndyCar content, on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.